Hello everyone, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla story arc reaction. So of course, spoilers, if you don't want to know what happens in the game and you want to play it for yourself, don't watch this video. But today we're in Jotunheim, one of the fantasy realms when Eivor decides to drink some fucking drugs. And I played the Asgard arc, I honestly hated it, didn't like it at all, not for me, I don't see the point of this at all. But James has told me, and lots of people have told me, Jotunheim is amazing. This makes up for Asgard. This makes everything make sense. So I'm going to record my reaction to this, and let's just see where we go from there, shall we? Frost Giants and Assassin's enter. Creed. Fuck yeah, very You're not cool. not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrebola. I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Well, that sounds like Juno. Is that Juno's voice? Sounds like Juno's voice. Sounds like Juno's voice. Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. They both seem like me, which you would sell any she seems like for the Aretha, right the Odyssey. If one had the means to pay it, the Odyssey. There is a route called. What the fuck's a bloodstone for? What this is? I hate all of this. This is all so stupid. <laughs> I'm not fighting fucking man bear pig. I'm not doing it. I'm not fighting fucking bullshit. You're not real. This is dumb. It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. We're going. This is Inception shit. We're going, what, to another dream? We're already in a dream. We're going into another dream? While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. Oh, How go. fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um, we have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we, we may not withstand another attack. Wait, I, uh, it's a truth I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now. You have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? This is like Juno, not Alethea. I would. I would give all that and more. I would like to see that. Loki, Loki what trickery is this? Wait, hang on. Juno, her husband, would be Aida, a sage. They're saying Basim, so say, is that what they're trying to say? It doesn't make sense. Hang on. Hmm. I don't know. I might be reading into this too much. What the fuck is happening? Not fighting fucking frost giants. Not doing it. Stupid. Well, fucking giant. Let me guess this is fucking Jupiter or some shit. You are small to my eyes. Yep, it's Stranger. Jupiter. What a shock. In stature, but great indeed. I am fucking the one they call Javi. Isu the Trinity. One of Older is different from you and I. Who's this gonna be? What is who's this gonna be? Fucking mental. What the fuck is happening right now? Here we go. Who the fuck are you? Minerva? 
time ago, we made powerful magic here. It's fucking Minerva. We sought to see all futures, but every road led to Ragnarok. Oh, the Father end of the world. Father does not visit here anymore. Okay. Ragnarok he being sees no the 2012 ca catastrophe. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility waiting for unknown ears many ages hence. What a weird way to explain this. And I don't know if I even like it or not. It's just what do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. Mm, Desmond. There is to be a Couldn't feast in it. my honor. And your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, prophet? Can you hear me? Prophet. It's here. Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Don't toy with my emotions like that, you fucks. By ever teasing a reference to Ezio like that. Who are you? Winter's knife got steep. What was that? What the fuck was that? It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been Filing our well of knowledge from which all of Midgard drinks. Okay, here's the there solution to saving the world. It would wreak on mankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means unless the death you, unless you Juno. Know. We will find another way. We must. Okay. Now you've intrigued me. This land the story of this is all about fucking all but the actual modern day connection into the world. Using the past events that were Juno, Minerva, Jupiter, and their work to try to save the world, the message of humble Juno obviously deceiving them. Alongside her husband Bassam. Well Aida. Bass fuck it's there's so fucking confusing in this fucking retelling of it. Cause they're not the they're world. frost giants. They're not even who they are. Minerva, why are we crashing? To my own face. Oh, no, there's a vault open. What the fuck is this like? Fucking mead. Fucking mead. Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I. How? It makes no sense. The Norse spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined. This is not really gonna happen. Together. This is a joke. No. No. Perfect sense in that. What? No. Yeah. Thank Please you. Please and mock, but I do not believe your lies. Your only desire is the mead. You are a thief and an agent of chaos. I'll see you pay for this deceit. Guards! It's time to kill Minerva then. Your treachery will only bring you death. Yeah, well, Minerva, you don't. You don't know. You just don't know. Do not do this. You cannot know the consequences. There, see the robber caught red-handed. Fuck off, Loki. Deceiver. I treated you as an honored guest. Here we go. And this is how you repay me. Ah, I'm over this. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Come. 
<sighs> Time to fight Jupiter as a frost giant. What is Assassin's Creed? What is happening? Imagine 10 years ago you're telling me that. Oh, you're gonna fight Jupiter in 10 years in an Assassin's Creed game, but he's a frost giant. And you're in Jotunheim. And Loki makes you fight him. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, Bassam, why are you Loki? I still don't understand that yet. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not. Fucking, what do you I want? I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. <laughs> Why are we fighting Bassam? The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Uh, speaking Fucking with someone? Chino. Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hoover will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. And why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Why is Mimir, keeper of the well? Give me your counsel. Fucking Mimir. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the acid. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. For there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. Hmm. And there is no other way. So this is the setup None. to Odin's genetic memories being put forward no into Avil later as did. an Isu the same way Juno said Aida's Fate into the future. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Which is what Basim was saying. You give your but the game's not over. He's defeated now, but he'll come back like a sage. Sight. I would give all that and more. Sacrifice to be reborn anew later in life. It is done. The sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse. So they locked it away and banished me from Utgarder. It's literally the eye. By the eye efforts, that's in the Grand Temple. You have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. 
Jesus fucking Christ. So that's pretty much the issue that is Odin that we see in all the Animus white rooms or confession rooms. Is an Isu that made a sacrifice so to be reborn again. Come. The same Set way that Aida does. Spoke. Sages. So, it's, learning much and seeing so Eivor's not a sage. There was a lot to take in from that Jotunheim arc. Obviously, there's the one last return to Asgard, but I'm not enough power level to do that. But, holy fuck. I mean, I hate the fantasy stuff. Like, I hated that that's how I had to learn about that, but there was a lot of Easter eggs in there from the Desmond saga with the triad, um of Minerva, Juno, Jupiter, what their plans were to try to save the world and how this is like the way to cheat death. And that's why Odin, uh, obviously some sort of past Isu in some way, in the Isu way, I guess, um, is now living through Eivor. Now, the same way Aida lives in humans that we know as sages. So this is just another one where Eivor's not a sage, but he's not... He's not not a sage, in the sense of he lives the same way. It's confusing. There's obviously going to be more sort of explanations to this in the future, but for now, this is where we leave it. That's my reaction to the Jotunheim arc. I will have more reactions in the coming days for the future arcs. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.